Hello, this is Tamir Zain from ElliottWayForex.com with your Eurodollar analysis for November 22nd, 2015. As expected last week, the euro continued moving towards the downside, but its movement seems to be taking the shape of a wedge-like formation. And in Elliott Wave terminology, a wedge that takes place at the end of a motive pattern is called an ending diagonal. And that's exactly where we think prices are right now. We highly suspect that the downtrend is only a day or two away from forming its last low of the year and that December will witness a plateau of slow sideways movement, which also suggests that the year will begin with a bang, but that's a topic for next week. We're updating our accounts to reflect the most recent price action and to present tighter targets and invalidation points. So beginning with the big picture on the weekly chart, the bigger picture sees that the euro is moving towards the downside in cycle wave X, which is forming a double zigzag labeled primary waves W, X, and Y. Within it, primary wave Y is forming a zigzag labeled intermediate waves A, B, and C, where intermediate wave A formed an impulse labeled minor waves 1 through 5, and within it minor wave 3 reached 261.8% the length of minor wave 1, and then minor wave 5 formed an extension labeled minute waves 1 through 5, reaching 161.8% the combined lengths of minor waves 1 and 3. After that, intermediate wave B formed a double zigzag labeled minor waves W, X, and Y, retracing a little less than 38.2% of intermediate wave A. So right now, intermediate wave C is most likely forming an impulse labeled minor waves 1 through 5, which will complete primary wave Y and therefore cycle wave X. This will be confirmed by movement below 1.0462. The MACD indicator supports this count by showing a bearish reversal right after touching the zero line. So now at 0.9830, primary wave Y would reach 100% the length of primary wave W. Then at 0.9536, intermediate wave C would reach 61.8% the length of intermediate wave A. This wave count is invalidated by movement above 1.1718 as minor wave 2 may not move beyond the start of minor wave 1. Now let's take a look at the details of the daily chart, where the main count, as we said, says that intermediate wave C is most likely forming an impulse labeled minor waves 1 through 5, and within it minor wave 2 formed a double combination labeled minute waves W, X, and Y, each forming a zigzag labeled minuet waves A, B, and C, overall retracing a bit more than 61.8% of minor wave 1. Now minor wave 3 is forming an impulse labeled minute waves 1 through 5, where minute wave 3 reached 261.8% the length of minute wave 1, then minute wave 4 retraced 38.2% of minute wave 3, and now minute wave 5 is most likely unfolding as an ending diagonal labeled minute waves 1 through 5. Within it, minuet waves 1, 2, 3, and 4 seem most likely to be complete. This count expects the euro to continue moving towards the downside a bit further in minuet wave 5 to complete minute wave 5 and therefore minor wave 3. This will be initially confirmed by movement below 1.0617. At 1.0617, minuet wave 5 would reach the low of minuet wave 3, then at 1.0594, it would reach 78.6% of its length. After that, price should start moving sideways to upward in minor wave 4, which should last from 3 to 4 weeks, probably at least. This wave count is invalidated by movement above 1.1087, as minor wave 4 may not enter the price territory of minor wave 1. And next week, we'll post the targets for Minor Wave 4, once we've confirmed that Minor Wave 3 is indeed complete. That's all for our analysis for this week. I wish you profitable trading, and see you next time.